Are you making these money mistakes? You might be surprised. From neglecting to budget to carrying high interest debt, these financial faux pas can creep into anyone's life. And let's not forget about living beyond one's means or the classic blunder of impulse spending. These are just a few examples of the top 10 money mistakes many of us make, often without even realizing it. So, are you ready for a financial reality check? Stay tuned to find out which money mistakes you could be making and how to fix them. Mistake number one, not having a budget. It's like setting off on a cross-country road trip without a map. You might eventually get where you're going, but not without unnecessary detours and costly pit stops. A budget is your financial GPS, guiding you towards your goals while helping you avoid the potholes of unexpected expenses. Without a budget, it's easy to lose track of your spending and before you know it, you're in debt or worse, living paycheck to paycheck. On the other hand, a well-planned budget can help you break free from financial stress, allowing you to save for your future and yes, even enjoy life's little luxuries guilt-free. Creating a budget might seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Start by tracking your income and expenses. Identify your needs versus wants. Allocate funds accordingly, and most importantly, stick to it. Remember, a budget is your financial roadmap. It's time to take the driver's seat and steer your finances in the right direction. Mistake number two, living beyond your means. This money mistake is a slippery slope that leads to a pit of financial woes. When you spend more than you earn, you're essentially borrowing from your future self. And trust me, your future self won't be thrilled about that. It's like running a race where the finish line keeps moving further away. The more you spend, the more you need to earn to keep up. It becomes an exhausting, never-ending cycle. And when unexpected expenses come up, well, that's when things can really start to spiral. Now living within your means doesn't imply a life of deprivation. It's about making smart, sustainable choices that align with your financial capabilities. It's about understanding the difference between wants and needs, and making decisions that prioritize your long-term financial health over short-term gratification. Remember, the most satisfying lifestyle is one you can actually afford. Live within your means, not beyond. Mistake number three, not saving for emergencies. Picture this, you're sailing smoothly through the sea of life when suddenly, an unexpected expense hits like a rogue wave. Maybe it's a sudden car repair, a medical bill, or even a job loss. If you haven't prepared for these financial storms, they can capsize your boat and leave you floundering in debt. That's why it's crucial to have an emergency fund. Think of it as a life jacket, a buffer between you and those unforeseen expenses that could otherwise sink your financial stability. As a rule of thumb, aim to have between three to six months worth of living expenses saved up. This fund isn't for splurges or luxuries, it's for those rainy day scenarios that can occur when we least expect them. Building an emergency fund may seem daunting, but even small contributions can add up over time. Remember, it's not about the size of the fund but the safety it provides. An emergency fund is a financial safety net. Mistake number four, carrying high interest debt. This is a common pitfall that can quickly derail your financial stability. High interest debt, like credit card debt or payday loans, are like quicksand for your finances. Each month, interest piles up on top of the original amount you owe, making the debt harder and harder to pay off. Now, how do you combat this? First, understand the power of interest rates. The higher the rate, the more you'll pay over time. So focus on paying off your highest interest debts first. This strategy, known as the avalanche method, can save you significant amounts in the long run. Consider also consolidating your debts into a lower interest loan. This can make payments more manageable and reduce the total amount you'll pay. But remember, consolidation only works if you stop accruing new high interest debt. High interest debt can be a financial drain. Prioritize paying it off. Mistake number five, not contributing to retirement accounts. Picture this, you've worked hard all your life and now it's time to kick back, relax, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. But wait, there's not much fruit in the basket. Why? Because you haven't been contributing to your retirement accounts. These accounts aren't just a place to store money until you're old and gray. They're an investment in your future, a way to ensure you can maintain a comfortable lifestyle even when you're not working. But it's not just about comfort. It's about independence, freedom, and peace of mind in your golden years. And here's the kicker. Many retirement accounts offer tax benefits. So you're not just saving for the future, you're saving on your taxes right now. So don't neglect this crucial part of your financial strategy. Invest in your future self, contribute to your retirement accounts. Mistake number six, neglecting investments. 
Now we're not just talking about forgetting to check your stocks periodically. This is about the bigger picture, the importance of regular investments and staying updated with the market. You see, investments are like seeds. You plant them, nurture them, and over time, they grow into something fruitful. But what happens if you neglect them? Well, they wither. They stop growing. And in the end, you're left with nothing. The same goes for your investments. Regularly investing and keeping up to date with market trends is crucial. It's about being proactive, not reactive. Remember, the economy is like a river. It's always moving. If you're not paddling, you're drifting. And drifters rarely end up where they want to be. So, make it a point to invest regularly, review your investment portfolio periodically, and stay informed about the market trends. Your investments are your future. Don't neglect them. Mistake number 7. Impulse spending. It's a common pitfall that can derail even the most well-planned budget. You see a sale, you spot a bargain, and before you know it, your money's spent on something you didn't plan for. Impulse spending is like quicksand for your finances. It's easy to get sucked into and difficult to get out of. And the worst part? Most impulse purchases end up unused, gathering dust, or causing buyers remorse. So how can you control it? Start by identifying your spending triggers. Is it stress? Boredom? The thrill of a sale? Then, implement a cooling off period. If you see something you want, wait 24 hours before buying. Often the urge to buy will pass. Remember this, every unplanned purchase is a step away from your financial goals. So, the next time you're tempted by an impulse buy, ask yourself, is this worth delaying my goals for? Impulse spending can sabotage your budget. Be mindful of your spending. Mistake number eight, not comparing prices. It's a common habit, you see something you like, you buy it without a second thought, but pause for a moment, could you get it cheaper elsewhere? You'd be surprised how often the answer is yes. Comparing prices is like a treasure hunt where the treasure is your own hard-earned cash. Whether it's groceries, clothes, electronics, or even services like insurance or utilities, there's always a potential for savings. Take advantage of online tools and apps that can do the comparison for you, they're a godsend in our busy lives. And don't forget about the good old-fashioned method of checking different stores. A few extra moments of research can mean more money in your pocket. Remember, every penny counts in the long run. Even small savings can add up over time, making a significant difference to your financial health. So, don't ignore the power of comparison. Save money by comparing prices before you buy. Mistake number 9. Ignoring insurance needs. We all like to think that we're invincible, that accidents, illnesses, and disasters won't touch us. But the reality of life is that it's unpredictable. This is where insurance comes into play. It's not just a piece of paper or an unnecessary cost. It's a tool, a financial safety net, that can protect you from catastrophic losses. Imagine for a moment a scenario where your home is destroyed by a natural disaster. Without homeowner's insurance, you're left to shoulder the cost of rebuilding your life from scratch. Or consider the impact of a serious illness without health insurance. The medical bills could be enough to wipe out your savings, plunging you into debt. Insurance is about managing risks and providing peace of mind. It's about ensuring that you and your loved ones are protected no matter what life throws your way. Insurance is a financial safety net, don't ignore it. And the final mistake, not seeking financial advice. You see, the world of finance can often resemble an intricate maze, full of twists and turns that can lead to dead ends if navigated incorrectly. And that's where the value of professional financial advice comes in. Financial advisors are like skilled navigators, equipped with the knowledge and experience to guide you through the financial labyrinth. They can help you make informed decisions about your money, whether it's investing wisely, planning for retirement, or saving for a rainy day. In fact, making financial decisions without consulting a professional can be like setting sail in stormy seas without a compass. You might get lucky and find your way, but the odds are against you. Remember, there's no shame in asking for help. Even the most successful people seek advice from experts. So, don't let ego or fear stop you from seeking the guidance you need. Seek professional advice for your financial decisions. So, those are the top 10 money mistakes people often make. From neglecting to budget and living beyond means, to ignoring the need for savings, retirement contributions, and insurance. Let's not forget the pitfalls of high interest debt, neglected investments, impulse spending, failing to compare prices, and bypassing financial advice. But remember, each misstep has a fix. By avoiding these mistakes, you're paving your way towards financial security. Avoid these mistakes, and you're on your way to a more financially secure future. Thank you for watching.